Guys, I've got big exciting news for Rice Farming TV. I've partnered with RFD TV, a network out of Nashville, Tennessee. Our partnership is gonna take place on RFD TV's Market Day Report, which covers agribusiness news, weather, and commodity market information. So right now, let's take a look at how this partnership is actually going to pan out. Well, RFD TV is proud to introduce you to a new weekly segment right here on your Market Day Report. Rice Farming TV is hosted by Matthew Sligar and features a mix of fun and educational stories about agriculture, all from Matthew's operation in Northern California. Today, we introduce you to Matt and all of his various hats. And as most of you know, farmers love hats, but it's the metaphorical hats they wear that make their operations run smooth all year round. This is my farmer's hat. It's the hat I wear when I'm farming. It's my work hat. In this episode, I want to explore farmers' hats. And so next is when they're going to show a Rice Farming TV episode. In this example, it's the Farm Hats episode. If you haven't seen it, check the link down in the description. After the episode airs, we're gonna go into a live interview to kind of give an update as to what's going on in the rice fields. Let's watch. And joining us now to talk more about this new partnership is host of Rice Farming TV, Matt Sligar. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. And where are you in Northern California? Tell us about yourself and your operation. Christina, first of all, thanks for having me on. This is a lot of fun. We're up in Butte County, which is about an hour north of Sacramento. Uh, we farm in Gridley, Richville, and Biggs, all small, beautiful farming communities. Yeah, I went to Chico State. I know the area very well. Driving from Yuba City up to Chico, you go right through Gridley. Now, how did the concept of rice farming TV actually come about? Well, I wanted to exercise my creative potential, if you will. Sometimes out in the rice fields, it can be physically demanding, shoveling. It can be monotonous a bit, driving a tractor in a circle. So when I get home, I like to get in front of a computer and just storytell exercise that creative muscle and and that's kind of the motivation behind it but the voice and message that i've found me telling is educating people about california rice a lot of people from california don't even know that rice is grown and the medium grade rice which we do grow is actually an award-winning premium product yeah, you know, especially when you think about Southern Californians, they have no idea what's going on at the north end of the state when it comes to agriculture in many cases. Now, let's hear about the feedback that you've had because you're also spreading the word about agriculture. What are you hearing from your audience? It, the feedback that I'm getting is so, so rewarding. And that's why social media is so important to me is because of this interaction, getting comments, getting this feedback. And it's all been positive, whether it's from consumers who are grateful about learning about agriculture and rice specifically, or from the rice industry who's just happy that they're getting a positive message out about their product. All right, well, we're going to talk to you each and every Friday for more updates. What can viewers expect to see as we move forward with this new partnership? Well, we're just starting the planting process. So we're gonna be breaking ground here in a few days. So you're gonna see the entire growing process with me. And I look forward to checking in with you guys every week and just sharing what's happening out here in the rice fields. Yeah, and just seeing you live tells the story behind you. We see the sun is back out in Northern California. Happy about that? Super happy <laughs> about that, super happy. And we're getting a nice dry north wind too that helps dry out the ground. So that's very good. And right behind me there, you can see is the buttes and we got a rice field that has some weeds in it. We need to break up the ground to kill those weeds and get ready to plant rice. That's right. You see those buttes, one of the smallest mountain ranges in the country. We really look forward to talking to you more. How can our viewers find out more in the meantime? Well, they can find me on social media, YouTube, for example, Rice Farming TV on YouTube or on Facebook, at Rice Farming TV on Twitter, or they can go straight to my website, ricefarmingtv.com. I'd love to hear from your audience, get some feedback from them. And uh, of course, Christina, if you wanna drop me a line, you can do that anytime. Okay, will do. Host of Rice Farming TV, Matt Sligar, thanks so much for joining us. And like we said, you can catch him each and every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern for weekly Rice Farming TV updates right here on your Market Day Report. 
Now this action where they show a rice farming TV episode and then connect with me for a live interview is going to take place every single Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific. So I encourage you guys to tune into RFD TV, check your local listings, or you can listen to it on Sirius XM channel 147. I'm super excited about this. It's a big opportunity for California rice. It's a big opportunity for rice farming TV. So please do me a favor guys, seek out RFD TV, their social media outlets, the links are down in the description, and tell them thank you. Thank you for doing this partnership with Rice Farming TV because it means a lot to me, and hopefully it means a lot to you as fans and viewers of Rice Farming TV. So thanks for watching guys. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate any likes or comments down below, and if you haven't done so already, check out my eShop to help support Rice Farming TV. Have a great day.